Hey everybody. So last weekend I had the opportunity to attend the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I got to hang with Selena Zito, I got to meet Dean Cain, but for the most part, it was a full serving of awful. I've heard numerous people over the years say that the mainstream media was out of touch with America. And look, I get it, not everybody in that room fits into this category. There are a ton of fantastic journalists out there that are trying to do the right thing. But man, I gotta tell you, after seeing that event firsthand, the vast majority of the so-called mainstream media was totally out of touch with mainstream America. Now to the media, let me try to explain why the American people don't trust you. Let me recap the night. Most of it was filled with elitists congratulating themselves on a job well done, which I have to admit wasn't a total surprise to me. But as the evening wore on and bile rose in the back of my throat, I heard something that caught my attention from the podium. Bob Woodward was speaking and said something that made me jump to my feet in applause. And you know what it was? He said that journalists should not have a dog in the political fight other than to find the best obtainable version of the truth. Now you would think that line would garner a five minute standing ovation, but it didn't. And here's why. For eight straight years, the media has done nothing but stargaze at President Obama, and in doing so, compromised the trust they shared with the American people. They bowed down to the altar of the presidency and willingly abdicated their role as the watchdogs of our republic for access. And while all that butt kissing was going on, President Obama constantly demonized Fox News and other conservative media outlets. FOIA requests during his administration were denied almost as a matter of routine, and journalists that actually did their jobs, like Cheryl Atkinson and James Rosen, were illegally surveilled and attacked. In fact, the Obama administration actually read through James Rosen's personal emails and labeled him a criminal co-conspirator and said that he was a flight risk so the Justice Department wouldn't have to tell him about the surveillance. And again, the American people watched. We watched as the mainstream media almost exclusively backed Hillary Clinton even after she labeled half the country as deplorable. On every show, in every bias poll, you tried to influence the election in her favor. Then Donald Trump did the unimaginable, well, unimaginable for you in the media anyway, he won the presidency. Not just won, but utterly wiped out all of his opponents. He defeated a Bush and a Clinton in the same election cycle. And you still treated this man as if he were a laughing stock. And after a hundred days of his presidency, all you have done is try to undermine him in every way. And after all of that, you have the gall to throw a celebration for yourselves. You actually sat there at the White House Correspondents' Dinner and celebrated the First Amendment as if it's sacrosanct, and yet you've abused it in almost every way. In fact, for years, you did the exact opposite of what Bob Woodward said. You let your personal politics cloud your reporting. And for most of the night, you actually wondered why Donald Trump can't stand the media and didn't want to attend in the first place. Is it really that hard to understand? You wonder why the American people don't trust you? Remember that you threatened to boycott the dinner first. And when Trump declined your eventual invite, you complained about it. Your behavior and your conduct has been the greatest instrument of your own demise. You did this to yourselves. So stop crying when Donald Trump and others call you fake news because you compromised your own integrity and violated the trust of the American people. No one else. But if after all that, you still can't figure out why the American people don't trust you, I'll tell you. Donald Trump ditched out on you and your dinner because you ditched out on the American people. And in your absence, whether you like it or not, he's become the de facto champion of the American people. So go ahead. Continue to hold your swanky dinners and drink your expensive wine and give yourselves awards and pat yourselves on the back. And us? The American people will just watch, just like we always have, only this time it will be to watch the mainstream media fade into obscurity.